today for salvage I have this old carbon monoxide detector. Things got to be at least 15 years old and I've uh, long ago replaced it with a better one at home. I just found this thing and uh, let's take it apart and see what if anything inside could be useful salvage for electronics. I flip this over onto its back and I've removed the one screw that held it together so we can now open it and get a first look at the insides. This is so old it actually has uh, an iron core power transformer with a 120 volt primary and a lower voltage secondary. Looks like there's a voltage regulator chip on a heat sink. Uh, this part here would be uh, the part that detects the carbon monoxide gas. And we have a nice loud Murata electronic beeper from the look of things here. That should be a good piece to uh, hang on to. Let's get a bit further in here and get a better look. I cut the uh, circuit board free from the case. It was just held by the uh, two 120 volt wires that lead to the transformer. Now that we can get a side view, we can see that the regulator here is a 7805. There's also two IC chips soldered to this board. The 8-pin uh, dip is an LM393. The other chip, well, I can't quite read the numbers on it. Uh, they're obscured. Let's warm up the soldering iron and take a few things off the board here. I've done a little quick desoldering here to salvage some components. The uh, carbon monoxide detector module is there. Then I got a nice uh, electronic beeper module, a very loud one. There's the little uh, 120 volt mains transformer here. I got a 7805 regulator on a little heat sink, an LM393 chip, a couple of small power tab transistors by Motorola that I'll have to try and run the numbers on them on the internet, got a green and a red LED, a 1000 microfarad 25 volt electrolytic, these two little transistors here are both the uh, 2N3904 NPNs. Then there are two 100 microfarad 16 volt electrolytics. There's a little uh, yellow capacitor there and a uh, small power type resistor, maybe uh, half watt. All in all, not a heck of a lot, but I do like the uh, large, loud beeper that came out of the thing, so finding out what's inside a carbon monoxide detector, well, it wasn't a waste of time. I did get some useful uh, salvage for my parts drawers. Thanks for watching, and I'll take something else apart soon enough. My salvage is bagged and ready to take home. Having salvaged the electronics, I'm left with the mostly stripped circuit board back inside the reassembled case. Let's see if we can uh, hit this with a few air rifle pellets just to get some fun out of the garbage.
go. Once I got it wedged in place, took 15 rounds to knock it down and take it apart. There's the remains, and, well, so much for what's inside an old, obsolete carbon monoxide detector.